How's it going guys? I'm back to our first episode on how to use Adobe Premiere Pro. Now in this series, we're going to be talking about some of the basics and some of the advanced features that this software has to offer. And for this episode, we're going to be talking about what exactly Premiere Pro is and what you can use it for compared to other programs out there. Now, as you guys may know, Premiere Pro is made for editing videos and making movies, whether it being professional or amateur videos. It is one of the programs that some of the professional people use alongside Final Cut Pro, which is mainly used by Mac people because it's a Mac program. But Premiere Pro is one of the big programs out there that if you want to be a serious video editor, then you would have a program like this one. Now, I would like to talk about another program by Adobe called After Effects, which is also a program you can use if you want to edit videos. But the main purpose behind using Premiere is for cutting and editing video clips and touching up on the footage so it looks nice. Where After Effects is mainly used towards special effects. So if you want motion tracking or fire effects or something inside your video clips, then you can put video clips inside After Effects, add the effects, and then you can put the After Effects project or just the clips after you export them into Premiere so you can actually edit and cut the clips and make a movie. So now that we cleared that out, the difference between After Effects and Premiere, we can actually go ahead and get started on what exactly Premiere is. Now, Premiere, like I said, has many different tools for cutting, editing, adding effects to your footage, so you can actually increase the quality or change up the mood of the footage. You can also add effects to sound if you want to touch up on the sound a bit. Of course, it's not going to be as good as using a professional sound program, but it gets the job done. Now, Premiere compared to other programs out there is quite advanced because you can do quite a bit of settings, you know, effects, options with your clips. And it also has a lot more control over what you want to do to your footage. Whereas some of the other programs out there that might be cheaper, like Sony Vegas, can also do a lot of the things that Premiere can do, but it's very limited in the way you can use it. So Premiere is one of the good programs. It's also one of the more expensive programs because you need an Adobe membership. But it's really good for doing video editing if you want to be taken serious as a video editor. So that's basically it for this episode. I would like to just do this small introduction that we just did. And for the next episode, we'll talk about how to actually set up a new project so we can actually get started doing some kind of editing. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.